Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are creating another makeup look with the Chanel Fall 2019 collection. I was recently on the US Chanel makeup website and I saw this really beautiful picture of Kristen Stewart. I'm gonna pop it on the screen right now. And as you can see, it's this beautiful dark black and white kind of sultry, very fall, winter inspired makeup look. And I thought we could go ahead and try to recreate that look with you guys today. Now, I was looking on their website and I haven't seen any makeup tutorials yet because usually with every collection, Chanel will come out with like some quick little videos, either with Lucia Pica or with some models, but I haven't seen any yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to recreate this the best that I can. But before we go any further, please take a second to grab your iced coffee or your hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So this eye look does look quite straightforward. It doesn't look too complicated. I mean, knock on wood. Um, I'm assuming that they're using the black and white eyeshadow palette, which I did not pick up, but I do have the white top coat. And I also picked up the white eyeliner as well. And I happen to have the black one. So I think we can go ahead and just like recreate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by using the top coat. This one is called number 317 Carte Blanche. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this eyeshadow with the sponge that came with the compact. And I am going to go ahead and bring this up a bit as well because it does look in the photo like the white eyeshadow is a bit all over the lid. Now I'm just taking a finger and just patting this into the lid and I'm just helping to diffuse this color here. So I think now the next step is to go into my Chanel Style aux yeux number 88 Noir Intense and I'm going to go ahead and apply quite a generous line on the top here. And I'm also going to go ahead and go into the top waterline as well. So I can't tell exactly from the photo, but my intuition is telling me that maybe there's a little bit of a flick with the liner. So I just went ahead and used the same liner as before and just did like a, barely a flick here. And then I went underneath with a Q-tip just to clean it up. Now the tricky part is trying to get both sides to look sort of identical. Now in the photo, there also appears to be quite a generous thick black line on the bottom lashes, but underneath, because inside they appear to have placed the white liner. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start with the black liner first and trace on the lashes here. and then going in with a Q-tip and just cleaning up the line. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my Style aux yeux number 949 Blanc Graphique, and I'm gonna go ahead and go in the bottom waterline here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the face makeup and then finish up the eyes after. I'm gonna go into my Chanel Ultra Lotte foundation. I'm in the shade called B30. And I'm gonna go into my Clé de Peau concealer. I am in the shade called Almond. I'm just gonna take this concealer brush with a little bit of product and just swirl it on the inner corner here just to make sure this place is brightened up. Now in the photo, Kristen Stewart's complexion doesn't look like it has much going on, but we all know it has a little bit of blush. So I'm using the Chanel Rose Initiale number 72. This is a perfect peachy kind of pinky blush. It kind of looks great with any makeup look.
And I'm gonna go back into my white top coat and using the pointed edge of the sponge, I'm just gonna go ahead and place a little bit of this in the inner corner here. So now I'm gonna go into mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Chanel Le Volume Ultra Le Noir. As you may have noticed, I managed to put some mascara on top of my eyeshadow. I'm quite skilled in that sense. So now that it's a bit dry, I'm just going to go in with a little sponge and just swipe it off. If ever you put um, mascara on your eyeshadow, please resist the urge to wipe it away when it's wet. If you do that, you're just going to smear the black mascara everywhere. Wait until it's dry and then you can just flick it off. Okay, so for the lip, she has on a very nice, dark, plummy berry color, which I'm assuming is one of the new lip colors that came out with the collection. I did not pick up any of the lip colors with this collection, but I do have several dark, plummy berry colors that I could try. I have number 114 Epitome. This is the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme. This one is a really nice raspberry color but I think it might be a bit too bright for this look. I also have the Rouge Allure Velvet number 58 Rouge V, which does look nice, but maybe a bit too reddish. And then I also have Rouge Allure Velvet number 40 La Sensuelle. La Sensuelle kind of looks like Epitome, but a little bit less bright. So I think what I'll do is I'll mix two of the Rouge Allure Velvet. I'll mix number 58 Rouge V, and number 40, La Sensuelle. I'm gonna go into La Sensuelle first and then tap on Rouge V. This is Rouge V here on my finger. I'm just going to go in and grab a bit more of the Rouge V color. Okay, so I think that this lip color is very close. Maybe not perfectly identical, but still a really nice color. So this about does it for today's video. This is the finished look. I think it does look quite similar to the makeup look in the photo. Again, I'm quite certain that they used the eyeshadow quad that is black and white. Maybe they added some more color here for definition that I can't really see in the photo. But overall, I do like how this look turned out. It's black and white, it's graphic. It kind of reminds me of like maybe 1960s with like the liner and the black and white and especially putting white liner on the inside here and with the bottom mascara. But also this look does scream fall to me with this really dark, beautiful berry color. What I like about doing the tiny, minuscule little flick is that it's so small that when you put on mascara, it kind of just disappears. So it just makes your eyes look longer. You can't really tell if it's really a flick of liner or if it's just lots of mascara or your lashes. It just kind of makes your eyes look bigger and wider, which we all want. So I think this about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's look. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought and if you've picked up any items of the fall collection or if you've picked up more items from the fall collection. I really hope that Shana starts posting their makeup tutorials either on Instagram, on YouTube, or on their makeup um, website. I love recreating their makeup looks online, so if you happen to be a Chanel makeup lover, if you happen to have any items from the fall collection, might I suggest that you subscribe because whenever I get a collection, I love to just create several different looks. I like to mix and match from previous collections and just you know get as much inspiration as I can. So if you happen to have any of the items mentioned in today's video and you want more ideas or inspiration on how to use them, just stick around and subscribe to my channel. So on that note, I think this about does it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.